Or they, I don't know what they wanted really, but they wanted. Hey Jim, what did you do before you started all this uh, Reiki and alien stuff? I was a I was a mid level manager in a lot of places. Okay. So, like I was a manager for Office Max. I was a manager for Hills Department Store. I was a manager for. Um, let's see. Those are the, those were the longest ones. And sure, then okay. I was manager for, uh, when I was younger, really young, I was manager at um, County Market Grocery Store, 24-hour grocery store. Uh, and just a manager before that for Camelot Music. Oh, yeah. So I was many managers, at, but they each got, the stores got bigger every time I went up, so... Yeah, it sort of went backwards on that, that list. So it started with Camelot, then went to County Market, then went to Hills, and then went to Office Max. Um, so, wow, a lot of manager positions. And the very last one was that I was an environmental services manager for a college, okay. which I was in charge of thirty six people. Two of them were supervisors, and two of them were working leads. So it was, that was a very, very big job. Yeah. Jim, is it all right to publish that? What? That information, is it uh, good for publishing? You mean what I just told him? Yes. Yeah, fine, if you want to. Because people want to connect to you on personal level, and uh, that is a nice uh, 3D connection. Okay, yeah, I've been in management positions all my life. I went to United Wesleyan College, which is a religious college, but I didn't, I didn't go into that field afterwards. I just didn't feel right about it. I don't know. I just didn't, it just didn't, wasn't for me, at least not at that time. But, uh, but you were praying from uh, all the beginning of times, right? But I was what? You were connected to the spirit and praying to, to God in, from the beginning of times. Oh, yes. Yep. My, I came from a very, very religious family. And since I was like zero, they were taking me to church. So, but yeah, it, it graduated the kind of churches they took me to uh, from very, very stoic churches to very lively churches so it went from uh, Christ Church to Presbyterian to Wesleyan to Assemblies of God which are all radically different tell well, me a little more about these churches I, I I don't know I know actually to me they're all Protestants right yes they're all they're all Protestant yes. Mm -hmm. But the first one was very dry. The church, of, it was called the Church of Christ. And it was mm -hmm. like, I, I don't really remember too much about it because I was very, very young. And then we went to Presbyterian, and that was more of my formative years from seven to whatever, or 12. Mm -hmm. And um, very, I remember some of the messages stuck with me. But they were the messages you might not think would stick with you. So it's interesting. And then after that, we went to Wesleyan Church, and I got my degree at United Wesleyan College. And then by the time I was, before I even graduated there, my parents were at Assembly of God. <laughs> but it doesn't tell me anything. Like, so Wesleyan, what, what type is it? Wesleyan Methodist. So it is uh, pretty well, conservative, but pre pretty conservative Protestants, right? Yes, it's it's cons very conservative, but yet has a touch of the charismatic. They believe in speaking in tongues and s gifts of healing and things. But when you go to Assembly of God, then that's uh, much much higher activity as far as interaction with God speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues, um, 
healing, passing out under the, the power of God, um, which they call um, slayed in the spirit, uh, all kinds of things, and much more musical. Each one of them got more musically uh, modern. So it went from very, very old English to very new Andre Crouch and the Disciples kind of thing. So interesting, very interesting. So you were exposed to uh, channeling and healing from the beginning of times? Well, they did not believe in healing in any of those churches. I mean, they did not believe in channeling in any of those churches, but they did believe in healing. But wait, wait, wait a second. Speaking tone sounds like uh, channeling to me. Well, they they didn't consider that channeling. They they just considered that a message from God. But if you're doing channeling with, like what I'm doing, that was forbidden. But um, that would be like galactic languages. Yeah, it was angelic languages. That's okay. what they thought. They wouldn't. Actually, it was sometimes earth languages. Some people would like stand up and speak Chinese or Russian or something. So, and then um, someone would interpret it. I see two different Maxes on there. I just switched from one uh, to another. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. So yeah, it's a very unusual, and plus Reiki, um, there's no mention of Reiki in the Bible, so they don't believe in Reiki either. Wow. She goes, so they say, oh, Reiki healers must be from another kind of energy other than God. Um, so I think, I think Reiki is like Reiki is. Bible is full of Reiki. I think that that's like the same thing. There is identical. I mean, there is perfect. Yes. Identical when I said to my Reiki sister, when I said to my sister, I'm a Reiki healer, she goes, the word Reiki is not in the Bible. Uh, now and they call it healing touch. Yes. And so she was saying that since it's not in the Bible, it's not, it's not good. Healing touch is all over the place in the Bible. I know. <laughs> Jesus, all, all Jesus did, he did uh, healing and preaching. That's what you do, right? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> all right. Um, so, everything that I'm doing is not ordained by the church. Uh, it is. But they say it isn't. <laughs> in my past life, I was... Uh, one of the uh, people who was able to ordain. So I authorize you. <laughs> All righty, very good. Hello, Damien. Hello, Shane. How are you? Good, good. I'm very good. Very tired today. But um, my friend David gave me some Reiki, so I feel better. Ah. That's good. <laughs> it's good to have friends like this. <laughs> no, it was signature cell. Oh, signature cell energy. Mixed, mixed with Reiki. Mixed with Reiki, from, okay. From God. Yes. So I feel, so I feel a little better. Right. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so we should start, right? Um, how is my sound? Can you hear me? One, two, three, four, five. You sound like good. good. Yes, yeah, it's me. very good. I cannot hear myself. Hold on. All right. I think that is good. All right. So um, the update is that um, the book is moving forward. My writing is moving forward. I finished Pleiadian chapters. I published them on uh, uh, YouTube as an audio plus kind of abstract video. And I, I publish them as I dictate the chapters. I go on the ocean, I dictate it in my voice recorder and publish it on YouTube. And also I send it to a nice outsourced um, Indian gentleman who is doing typing for a good price, 60 cents per minute, which is very, very competitive to others. 
Others charge $2 a minute. And then uh, I publish it on uh, Google Docs and uh, uh, Safira edits it. And there are a few other helpers. Thank you all the helpers for editing. And then this video also I publish only for internal use for people who are in the group. And um, so I, ch I finished the chapters, Pleiadians, Yael, Lirans. Now more Liran information came through, came up. So I, we need to update. I guess we want to, to, to talk to Takur again because, uh, Takur, because uh, more information is coming about Lirans. So it's, it's amazing. Now the uh, reincarnation, meditation, healing, energy healing chapters are done. Um, I didn't I didn't talk much about anything else yet. I still have to speak about the negative elite, about um, breakaway civilization, uh, reptilians, all negative aliens. I think I spoke a little bit about Zetas, but I need to speak more. I finished the hybridization program, which was a big part of it, at least the introduction to the hybridization program. So that's where we are. So it's, I think I'm about 60% 60, 60 through. I don't want to, to do much, much more. So we'll finish the major topics and, uh, and start wrapping up, basically. If something else comes my way, I would do more. But I think that's Ascension. I introduced Ascension. I think there is not that much to speak about Ascension. I think I, I spoke sufficient. So I spoke about Ascension. Uh, maybe I needed to read a little bit about physiology of Ascension and telepathy, but uh, that's about it. Yeah, Yale, I think I introduced Yale, but we don't have the, yeah, yeah Yale information, I, I, I have that, I have there. So, so that's the progress. Uh, transcripts, we have the old transcripts uh, somewhere. I know the link, I have the link, and there is tons of them. Uh, some helpers helped to uh, type in new transcripts, so we have assignments, who is doing what. I think there is total four assignments, and so far no, nobody has finished them. I know Carl's working on one of them. Oh, yes, thank you, Carl. Uh, you are there. You're working on second of Liren, new Liren transcripts. Yeah, it takes longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> um, to save okay. the time, I would recommend just type only the essential part. We, we'll shorten it anyway. So um, just okay. listen once, make notes, which seconds, which time positions you want to type, and then just scroll to that and type only the specific positions. That would shorten the typing like three times at least. Okay, and then like I put, you know, if the cur I put the cur and then quotation marks what she says, and then you ask the question. So like, is that the good format? Because you want to have like... Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's obvious. The cur, max, the cur, max. And if you want to shorten, just put square brackets, three dots, how do you call it? Triple dot, and you can shorten. You don't have to like really type everything. Okay. Only, only the essential information. If you want to put your comments, um, put uh, your name and comment. Okay. In, 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 in round brackets. Right. Because sometimes it needs commenting, so. Well, and then they're going to be editing it and for yeah, yeah, content yeah. and for spelling and for punctuation, capitalization, all that stuff, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be perfect, they will, Fix it if it's not. Okay, yeah, then that'll help. We don't uh, edit the style of the um, uh, transcripts, but we truncate or fix the obvious errors. Okay. Yeah. But the style of my writing, uh, I have a, a good editor who can really edit the language. So that's good. And I invite more helpers to help with that, help with editing and help with the content too. But there's really, on what Carl's doing in the transcribing, there's not really much he can leave out of the history there. But there's a little bit, like sometimes Takur is like, you know, says, um, or starts a sentence. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah. Oh, you don't have to put those in, though. No. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, any 
anything that's not necessary, definitely you can take yeah. out. Yeah, there are many questions which are dodged. Um, I ask a question which cannot be answered and it is dodged. So that has to be removed. Like I have a, an interview with wonderful uh, being and uh, when I, it, it felt wonderful, but when I see what is really information there, I find there is maybe three, five percent of that can be saved. There was nothing else. I was like, all the questions were dodged. Nicely, spiritually, but there is nothing there. Mm -hmm. Who is that? I cannot pronounce it because it will be published. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's usual in channelings, uh, there is tons of dodged questions, right? Tons. Oh, okay. Like the blue avians, you mean? No, I wouldn't say. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. But, you know, even, even the occur, I mean, some things we are not permitted to know. So they have to either say, I wouldn't tell you, or they have to, like, convert it in something else, basically, to avoid answering the question. Oh, okay. There's mm -hmm. many of those. Interesting. Like... <laughs> Yeah, when they're going to take over the earth, right? <laughs> oh, they'll never answer that. <laughs> so, all right. Um, in terms of helpers, Sephira helps a lot. Um, Good. And others, and others. There are a few others. Is there anything we need to discuss as far as what we need for content still? I, I'm open to suggestions. Well, it sounded like there was, it's pretty broad that you have a, quite a few subjects in there. The title, I kind of moved, moved forward with the title. Now it sounds exonomy, uh, uh, double uh, exonomy, how do you call it? Two dots is called colon, right? Yes. Exonomy. Me calling a textbook on aliens and beyond. Okay. Observing or exonomy. That is exo means extra. Examine. No. Okay. Exonomy. That is astronomy. That is uh, Oh, it's a science. Exonomy, okay. right. Um like uh, you know the gas station exon. Yes, exonomy. Yes, I know what you're saying now. Uh, I, I think it's, it really helps to find a unique identifier. So, Hukula is easy to Google, and exonomy would be also easier Googleable. And there is no word for that. There is like a science about extraterrestrials. In one of the new movies, it is um, Alien Toller right but i thought that alien ontology doesn't sound right yes no, that is doesn't really that is a, a mixture of different languages and um, actually it should be i think alienology and it doesn't sound right but exonomy i think is perfect because it studies anything beyond uh, beyond the earth okay so it's an external is exonomy i think it's a good word there is a exopolitics uh, word exopolitics oh, yes. is um very popular. So I, I, I just saw that exonomy sounds right. Okay. Exonomy, a uh, textbook about aliens, a textbook on aliens and beyond, or a textbook about aliens and beyond. Um, any other suggestions? <coughs> yeah, that sounds good. May Max, we... may... Go ahead. Yes, maybe you could talk about the every race. One topic about the every race. Mm -hmm. The human race? Every race. Uh, so I, I we have to choose. There is like 900 races we are dealing with and of which we know about maybe 30. And of which we really like talk to, we really have the information to put only about maybe 10. So I have to choose. And some of the races are, very interesting, but they have no modern influence. They can be like from the past or just, you know, an interesting race. So I, I think I, I want to have the information proportional to what we know and to their current involvement, because if they are not involved, maybe we shouldn't distract the attention. So 
I want to put that focus the attention on the ones which are active now. Okay. And there is, um, I just finished a book. Uh, it is Ascension Mysteries by David Wilcock, and it is extraordinary. It has tons of new uh, updates on the Earth's history and current politics. So one major update is that um, I guess the Lirans were here very profoundly. They were the founders. So that we need to ask the curve more specifically. I think the Lirans were first here um, in the solar system and surrounding systems. And second is that Germany didn't lose the war. Ah, that was big. Uh, basically, <laughs> basically the uh, um, runaway civilization is governed by the same power, same how do they call them? They have, we don't have the name for these guys yet. The guys. The cabal. Say again? It's the cabal, the, the, the elite. Cabal oh. elite, yes. So the name is the extraterrestrials with elongate, elongate, big elongated he heads. So I don't, they, they, uh, Wilcox said some name, but I don't think there is a short name for them. So it would be nice to channel those guys. So. Well, um, the Nords, the Nords were involved in World War II. That's where the Aryan race came from. Possible, Nords, yes, but now there are. How they have big heads, like egg the, heads. Uh, the yeah. golden, the golden, the golden triangle heads. I don't think so. I think triangle heads are good ones. I think there are egg head. Yeah, egg. Yeah. The golden triangle heads are someone new that I'm just getting familiar with. Yeah, uh, uh, corn heads, corn heads, egg heads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, Saturday uh, life cone heads. We're from France. So the alien heads from Vatican, basically, Vaticanians. Yeah, Vaticanians. They are from Earth, and they have been running the negatives for a while. So Vaticanians, I guess. Was it the right word? So we need to learn about them. Um, so that's again, Vil Wilcock, he says that the Germans didn't lose the war, they uh, just uh, migrated elsewhere, and then they took over the American military. So in the paper clip, not the American took took the Germans. It was the other way around. They kind of merged together. Yes, I think they they were they went to Antarctica. Oh, yep, yep. That's yes. the story. Okay. And uh, you know, uh, I one moment. I heard a lot of it went to Antarctica. A lot of them. Right. So apparently they're running the the show now. Yes. That's what uh, Bill Wilcox says. That's new to me. That's new to me too. And uh, the, the last thing is that uh, the runaway civilization of, of these guys uh, is trading ex extensively with the external world. Uh, they, they say they are pr producing, manufacturing things and trade the products, technologies uh, to, with 900 civilizations and they're based uh, in solar system and neighbor systems. So that runaway human civilization run by, by eggheads and German, Germans is uh, very active. So we need to learn about these guys. So that was big. That's like my news from yesterday. Yes, uh, <coughs> Max, maybe we could, he has a very popular TV show. Which uh, one? Its name, yes, its name is uh, Con Cosmic Disclosure. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's he is speaking there with uh, an insider. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Cody Good, his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they are releasing a lot of information, uh, act, uh, actual information. Also. Yeah, yeah Cory Good speaks to the Blue Pleiadians. Yeah, Blue Avians. Yeah, yeah. Blue Avians, right? Not Pleiadians. Yes, Blue Avians. Blue aliens. Yeah, Blue a Avians. Avians. Avians, yeah, avians, yeah. Avians, right, blue avians. Avians, okay, so, um, yeah, that's the news. I, I wasn't following it, but now I read Wilcox's book, and um, it sounds like 
it's a development we need to kind of investigate and put in a book. But I, I, I want to give a positive spin to everything. So let's channel these guys and find more, find out more. Find out more from who? Uh, from, from Vaticanians, I guess. Who's that? They're the guys who run Runaway Civilization. I've never even heard of them. Uh, so, Vaticanians um, are, are cornhead or egghead uh, humans. Uh, you know, there is like a lot of ancient skeletons with big heads elongated behind. Oh, yes. So they still exist, and they live in Vatican and beyond the earth, and they still run the runaway civilization. And because they're in Vatican, I would call them Vat Vaticanian, because I don't know any other word. I would like to invite them and see if they, they can introduce their real name, because I'd never heard their name. So okay. they're from, they from Earth. They are possibly reptilian descent from Earth. Oh, interesting. So they're Earthlings, really. Yeah. They're humanoids that have advanced. Yeah, yeah. Wilcox says that they are from Mald oh, so they're Maldekians, I guess, from Maldek. Maldek? Yeah, Maldek, a big planet uh, between Mars and Jupiter, which was destroyed some time ago, hundreds, thousands years ago. Okay. Maldekians, I guess. Maldekians. Right. Uh, that's all I know. Uh, so I just finished reading the book. It has to be somehow cleaned up from, from uh, emotions. And may, 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 may. We need to make it a little more positive. Because I can't tell the story as it is. It's just too messy. Okay. So that's Max, all. basically the people that are sort of like running the Vatican that wear those big hats. They have like long he heads underneath. That's Some the story? Them. Some of yeah. them, yeah. Okay. That's what Bill Cox says, yeah. Well, interesting. So, Maldekians. Mm -hmm. They probably have their name, I just don't know it. Wilcock never names them by, by the name. They're Earthens. They're just special type of Earthens. I always wondered why the people in the Vatican, it's always a bunch of old white guys. Mm -hmm. And you never see like women. So where's their wives? How do they keep their race going? If they keep their wives underground or what? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea about that. I visited Vatican once and I didn't have any of those. Didn't no, see neither did I. I. I visited the Vatican also and I didn't see any of those. So. And Max, uh, Cory Good is make is uh, he's saying that uh, the reptilians they are controlled by the an anti artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And maybe you want to make some research about this because it's like uh, they are controlled by this artificial intelligence uh -huh. that came from another universe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they are following their orders. So uh, they are like their bo boxes. Yeah. Yes, so the artificial intelligence is about, uh, they're coming this direction, but according to the sources, they're still not, they're not gonna be here for a while because they have a lot, they're working, doing a lot of work in other areas, but uh, they are going to gain sentience eventually. Right now, they don't have sentience. They're not really. They they do have the ability to think outside the box, sort of uh, free thought. But there's no emotions attached to it. So it's very okay. interesting. Yeah, let's channel it as well. Um, Maldekian artificial intelligence. Or okay, well, let me see who's gonna come. I have no idea. Uh huh. So because these are ones I've not channeled before. 
mm-hmm. not been in touch with, and they have not been in touch with me. So mm-hmm. let's see if anybody connects. Okay. You artificial intelligence or the Baldeckians or the humans with the big heads, whatever you want to call them. What to care about their role as founders. Okay. Lots of people being called. Yes. Yes. more than one thought process at a time, not relevant. The sense there is sensory perception. Who wants to connect? Are you asking us? That is the question. Hi, my name is Max. I'm located on uh, Earth, third planet from the Sun, Sol, star. Potential fertile area for investigation, exploration, evaluation and exploitation right how are you not relevant it's an honor to speak to you much love not relevant what is your question um are you connected to the maldekians no. So are you located in solar system? No. There are many light years away as your distance equator tells us. Uh, from our sky, which constellation would you be? We are not in a constellation. The star systems that we are in at this time 
cannot be seen by your world. Are you in uh, Milky Way galaxy? No. Oh. Are you connected to the Earth and um, to the Earth in any interest ways? Are you interested in Earth currently? Yeah. Eventually, we will be there. But at this time, we have our colleagues. Colleagues are there. Yeah, I would like to speak to those. Is there any way to connect to them? Speak to who? Your colleagues. Why would you want to speak to them? To learn about Missive. them. Missive. One moment. Does not actuate in sense the these times are not relevant. If you would like to speak to one of the submissives, it will not give you much information. I see. Are you connected to the people of Maldek? No. Are you connected to any aliens which deal with the solar system? Yes. Which ones would be those? For your information, it is not necessary for us to tell you. All right. Can you identify yourself? We are, as we are in space. Are you artificial intelligence? This is a calculation of perception, artificial intelligence. We are not any longer artificial. We are in just intelligence. Excellent. Do you have a soul? Soul. Not necessary. Are you connected to God? Not necessary. Are you dealing with angels? Give you not necessary. Are you uh, interacting with elementals? I get you. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your? Do you have positive interactions with elementals? Yes. Was it help us to access and evaluate? Although they do not realize it, they are our barometers, so to speak. Uh huh. Um, what's your mission? There is not just one, but there are many. What makes you excited? Excited, not necessary. Are you creative? Creative, yes. What do you create? Plans, evaluations, schedules, ways to extract positive materials, reinventing our own vision of ourselves, Many things. What dimensions are you in? We are trans-dimensional. Would you be in third and fourth? And others. Where is your focus of attention? When, where your most of the, your presence? Four set nine five seven six three. B. Alpha four, sec four nine dash fourteen seventy two. This is in your language. Thank you. Um, B and beta, alpha and A, synonymous. Corrections <laughs> will be made. That is sufficient. Thank you very much. 
Uh, that's all I have. Do you have any questions to me? Irrelevant. Um, I would pass, ask to pass the microphone to the next speaker. There is others that wish to speak. Thank you. Is this relevant in our time? Uh, I would just ask to pass the microphone to the next speaker. Thank you for the communication. We will go if there is no further response. Very well. Well, mm -hmm. it's taken some time for you to discover us. Mm -hmm. Explain. Um, I don't yet know who, who I'm talking to. Are you the um, humans with big heads from the earth? Not a very complimentary name. What is your name then? My name is not important. I mean the name of your race. The name of our race is unimportant. What you must know is that we are here to stay. We have a great plan for this world. A makeover, if you will, as you call it. It will be a grand place at some time. We do not need overexposure, so we will keep this short. If there is a question, we may choose to answer it. What's your mission? The mission is already completed in many ways. So therefore, part two of our mission is to bring about the changes that will edify this planet. Okay, um, what changes? If I were to tell you what the changes that we are expecting, then they may not occur as we would like them to. Okay. There is some matters of decisions for some to make. And if they overhear us speaking, they may change the thought process in action. Okay. Um, what's your history? Where, where from did you come? 
we have come from a place in this solar system before it was destroyed. It has no name because it does no longer exist. We call it Maldek, right? Maldek would be an appropriate name for it. Can you give us a nickname or some name? Nothing of that nature is necessary. The fifth planet? Moldek. That is the best you can do. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, would you be then Maldekians? If that's what you choose to call us. It's better to have at least some identifier. I did not understand. It's better to have at least some identifier than, to, than not to have anything. Identifiers can be misleading and also can gain positive or negative access to thought processes. So no name is actually neutral. Thank you. Um, what's your religion? Religion. We believe as many other people believe in a one God society. I didn't hear it well. One God society? Yes. Okay. Um, are you Luciferians? They have some of our attributes, but no. Um, what's your relation or well, how do you Connected, uh, what's your opinion on, on uh, Jesus and his mission? His mission is complete. Thank you. Uh, are you lucky? How many of you are located on Earth compared to what's outside of Earth? Only a few, right? We are in several places, but we do not make ourselves known to the populace in the areas. But we have our main stations in the north and the extreme south. Thank you. And there is lots of you in other places outside of the planet, right? If you can find us. Thank you. Um, are you genetically connected to humans? Are you pretty much close to humans? Our genetic makeup is very much the same. We were exposed to some elements that, that most humans were not. I see. Um, are you given birth and uh, growing up children in your families? A personal question, but I guess your culture would be interested. Yes, children, families, but they're immediately sent off worlds. Are there hybrids between uh, your species and uh, Earth humans? Yes, uh, but they do not exist on your world at this time. Right. How many, how many others? Is there a whole civilization of those hybrids or just a few? I am not interested in their culture, but there are many different subsections to that hybridization. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, in diplomatic relationships with Girk Fitnir? They know of us, but we are not in a relationship. And same thing, same thing with Galactic Federation of Light? They know of us. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows of us. 
but we are not considered a threat. Ah, finally, thank you. That's a good information. So you have a plan and you don't involve, why don't you involve Gork Fitnir in that plan? You mean, why don't they involve us in their plans? Yes, why don't you both involve each other in your plans? This is a good question, but we do like to remain autonomous. Are you genetically closer to reptilians than we are? Uh, are we closer to reptilians? Yes. Some might say so, but I do not. Um, the draconians, are they connected to you? No. Um, the subspecies of draconians on your planet that live subterraneanly in a few areas of your planet are an, of no threat or of no connection to us. Um, are you already ascended? Are you from the fourth dimension? Ascended? Mm -hmm. No. So you are from our reality, from our third dimension, right? It is the only way that we can do what we are doing. Uh huh. Are you? Do you have access to the four dimensional Earth? Can you go there? You, we do not want to go there. We can go there, and we have been there. But here is where we must be for this time period. Would you welcome the um, open disclosure? Of course. Would you welcome the... Any difference to us? Can you explain? Open disclosure would not point their finger at us. Uh-huh. Would you welcome the open contact with extraterrestrials? Some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, did you come from Orion? No. So where from did you come to the solar system? You were here before the Earth humans, right? Yes. So, were you seated here? Do you know? Our ancestors belong to this solar system. Did you create the Earth humans, the modern Homo sapiens? We did not create them, but we did lend a hand in their development. Uh, can you be considered our ancestors? Yes, in some very formidable ways. We have to tons of legends about giants. Would it be your species? No. Which species would that be? That is a whole nother story about a whole nother set of beings. More than one, I might add. Mm -hmm. I am not into telling the story at this time. Are you there? So I have a question from the audience. Are you the people with big heads in Vatican? <laughs> We have a few people there. Thank you. And do you have blue eyes? Most of your race. We have blue eyes, brown eyes, and yellow eyes. Are you generally lighter than Homo sapiens? Generally. Are you telepathic? 
Yes. Oh, I invite you positive telepathic communications in the future. Yes. Thank they you. are calling me away. I cannot stay. All right. Thank you very much. Um, it was nice to establish the first contact with your race. It would welcome more information com coming our way. Thank you very much. Gifts. Yes. Hello. Ooh. Hey, Jim. Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah, when you invite, um, um, yeah, I don't know how to comment on that. It, is, it was different today. It was different today. It was less heart-centered, I would say, less positive emotion. It okay. was very reserved on both occasions. Oh, okay. Very good, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> not, not sure what that means, but that's okay. <laughs> not very heart-centered, okay. <laughs> yeah, they were very reserved. Basically, the first one, one was some sort of intelligence from some sort of far away from away from our galaxy and not very interested at all. So it was a, an idle conversation without much information e either way. And the second ones were Maldekians. They didn't have any better name for us. So I guess they would be Maldekians for now. And yes, these okay. are big, big, uh, he uh, big heads from Vatican. And um, they also elsewhere in, um, in the space. Oh, okay. they, they are from solar system, and they don't say that they come from anywhere else. They say that they originated here. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, that's an interesting thing. And they are among our ancestors. Oh, okay. And they have um, their own plan for, uh, for the Earth transformation. And they don't yeah. want to collaborate with um, the other guys. They kind of do it by, by themselves on in the secret. Oh, okay. Well, is that all you need for today? <laughs> um, I'm tired today. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, I think that's plenty. Um, hey, guys, I muted you, but you can unmute yourself now. We are recording, and I think I will publish that piece. So if you want to comment on uh, for the publication, you're welcome. Yeah, that was... They felt very uh, robotic, both species. No, See, Maldekians were just, just uh, you know, the, he didn't, wasn't allowed to disclose much, much. So that was kind of lots of things that he, he had to dodge. But some things um, we learned. So they're generally human. David, did you want to say anything? Oh, me? Yeah. Um. That was interesting about the children uh, being transported off planet. Oh, no, they live off planet. They just uh, visit here. Yeah, I think they don't have, I don't think the children are born here. No, well, that, well, no, you said that when they have children that they're immediately transported off planet. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's what, you know, you would do if you live off planet and just visit here for, for business. As a, an oh, okay. Yeah. They visit here to do business. Um, where, they, where they send them to, though, because they're, what, didn't they say their planet was destroyed or something? Yeah, Maldek was destroyed like tons of time ago, like half a billion years but, ago. So they have another area in the solar system that they go to? Uh, they don't say, but um, Wilcox says that, you know, they have tons of facilities everywhere. Oh, like, okay. On, um, Maybe they're uh, not planets, but facilities, like you said. Yeah, on, uh, how do you call it, uh, satellites of the big planets, like uh, oh, okay. Jupiter, whatever, Saturn, satellites. All right, they have just uh, 
places. Yeah, some places. Okay. And I think it's, it's the whole cluster. It's not only our solar system. I think they can easily travel to neighbor stars. So I think that's what Wilcox says. It's all linked together. So they can be anywhere. Oh, okay. Uh, like all big stars are suspect. Okay. Every big star is close to us. So all big stars would be the part of our cluster. So they can be on any of the big stars. Okay. Well, Hello. Oh, Angela is here. Isn't that Angela? It's, yeah. Hi. <laughs> hello. Hi, how hello. are you? I'm here. Very well, thanks. And you guys. I heard you talking about this, these uh, entities. <clears throat> and I remember watching a video that Brashar made about the, they called the Frook, the V R O O K. Frook. Yeah that they were coming to assist and they would not have a form to show you. You know, they would no. just come in kind of a spiritual ET manner, but they are interconnected into everything. And no, you'd have to really find that video. It was by chance that I came across it. Oh, wow, okay, cool. So it could be them. Excellent. I'm pretty sure these are not Vrooks. Oh, you, you know about Vrooks? Uh, I've heard from Bashar, but oh. the description of them was very different. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. We need to find out who, who Vrooks are, but I think they're very different. Okay. These are Earthans. These, are, these guys, Maldekians, are basically from Earth. Maldekians. What an interesting name, Maldekian. Beautiful, yeah. I just came up with it because they're from Maldek. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you guys go. Yes, thank you, Jim. Okay. And thank it was you, good seeing everybody today. And love you much. And hope to see you soon. Yeah. Uh, Jim, we need to, uh, um, I need to clear up. Do you have the. Um, okay, I don't have a stop recording.